I look around and all I see is atoms. Just these fucking particles bumping off of each other. Kind of like dust in a beam of light, you know. Dancing in from one side, floating around a few other particles and then off into the dark again. Look, I don't... I don't feel like this whole connection thing is real. It's a myth, or a story, or a fucking Fugazi or something. Everybody's just a tiny atom in that beam. Like, you're over there, and I'm over here, and there's this fucking gap. I'm not gonna get up out of my chair because I don't know you, and you... I don't think you can get out of your chair, right? Like, like people don't want to meet. Or connect, or whatever you want to call it. It's fucking lame, it doesn't matter what I call it. Or they can't. I don't fucking know. I think we're too caught up in this. This... Us. This f fucking ego, this, this me, 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 this need to be a person or an individual or... Like, all of my energy is about crafting this fucking story, this biography of who I am and what I am. I'm a man, I'm a painter, I'm an anarchist or whatever the fuck. Just, just breaking all of this down into a bubble. I'm not you because I'm a man. I'm not them because they're into skateboarding. I'm not them because they're into K-pop. I'm not them because... Because I don't want to be. Because I'm me. Or I'm this Fugazi me in this Fugazi fucking chair. You see, that's what I'm talking about. I want to give myself to someone. To let all of this bullshit go, this fake Matthew, and just meet someone in that gap. But, but we can't get out of our chairs. They're too comfy. They're too safe. I want to... I give her... everything. I love her every way I know how. And it feels like... I'm losing. Keep giving her piece after piece of this chair and I'm crawling across this fucking floor and she can't even look up. Because she's stronger than me. Because she is more her than I am me. Because I don't have the fucking self-respect to tell her enough. To, to tell her that she's had too much because she, she can't just... She can't look up and I can't ask her to either because that's selfish right and I can't just... keep having this fantasy when we're in bed at night just as I'm drifting off I shall put a pillow over my head and before I can properly process it it just feels kind of cosy like she's holding every part of me And then she she blows my head open. No time to think, no time to be scared, no time to change my mind. She chooses for me. I'm sorry. I I don't know why I said that. Don't know why she'd get a gun.
and I can't stop drinking. There's this point, this golden point, where you just feel warm. I think it's about three or four shots in. It feels good. And then it goes. And then you have another drink, and then another, you try and get that back up. I think I have an addictive personality. I think that's what it's called. I fixate, you know, I think I'm a sex addict. I haven't stopped thinking about sex in 10 years. Longer. It's not about pleasure, it's a compulsion. Three times a day, I have to come three times a day once in the morning, once around three, and then again before I go to bed. It doesn't matter if it's with... It's a person. Or if I'm on my own. And I haven't enjoyed sex in a long time. It's a mechanical act, just pistons trying to achieve a function for a moment so that I can focus on one thing completely. Every person I see, the first thing I think is that I want to fuck them. That's not true. Every woman. My age. Or thereabouts. That sounds bad. That feels bad. I feel disgusting. A creep or a lech, but I don't know. I don't know how to stop because I know it's not about desire. Not that that would make it any better. I just want an object to bury myself in, to scream into. I don't think I can love anyone, not anymore. I, I can't see a person as a person. They're just a pillow. I can't love somebody without sex, I can't love somebody with it, there's just too much fucking shit there. I mean, it's supposed to be how you get close to somebody, it's the very definition of intimacy, but, but, but... It's never about anyone but me. I can't shake this. Have you ever been hit in the face? You get this warm feeling, it's kind of like that three shot feeling. She's never hit me, just to be clear. But when I give up on drinking, I put a ring on my left hand and I just fucking go for it. Aim for here, kind of in the corner, like on the bone. And I get that angle right and you hit it three times, you get the warmth, but no bruise. The magic spot. Or maybe I just don't bruise so easy. Don't try this at home, you know. I want to get beaten up. Pummeled. Knocked unconscious and thrown in the river, let the fish pick my bones, and I don't know why, it's this drive I can't shake. Because when I first... I don't know... Fucked her, it, it felt... Different. I could stop. Or, or I guess I didn't stop, but... It just didn't feel the same. I no longer had to, I wanted to. And I don't know if she knows. Maybe she does. She knows how to get me to back down. She can scream and scream as much as she wants, but as soon as... As soon as she touches me... I can forgive anything. Surely she knows that. Last night... She asked me to look at her. Now that, I can't do. I can't look at her. Anything else in the world she wants, she can have it, but there's just something behind my eyes that I can't give to her. It terrifies me. 
I knew that if I could, I would give it to her. Like, being high up on a building, it's not the falling that scares you, but it's the thought that you would jump. If I wasn't a coward, I would give it to her. I would give her everything. But I am a coward. So I can't. So that's that then. Dust in that beam. Round and around each other until whoosh, gone into the dark.